SpaceX has under its belt some insane milestones that continue to awe and inspire fans of Elon Musk. What started as a privately funded venture by a man with a dream is now the US government's go-to for vehicles for space missions. They are the first to develop reusable rockets, something previously thought impossible. They are also the first private spaceflight company to dock at the International Space Station, the first private company to send a liquid rocket fuel into orbit, and, well, <laughs> you get it, they have a lot of firsts to their name. A company like that needs an impressive headquarters where designers, engineers, rocket fuel developers, and more can collaborate and sometimes crash, just like how Elon Musk is known to sleep on the floor of his factory. Let's dive in. But before we begin, welcome back to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video. SpaceX Milestones They've had quite the year of success in 2020, and that will no doubt continue in 2021. Since its founding in 2002, SpaceX has been consistently knocking it out of the park, giving its competitors a run for their money. In the interest of sustainability, and of course reducing cost, SpaceX found a way to reuse its rockets. And in March of 2017, SpaceX relaunched its Falcon 9 rocket with a satellite on board and successfully recovered it again by landing in the Atlantic Ocean. It even made the Dragon capsule reusable. It launched a Tesla Roadster into space, which has now been up there for three years. In 2020, SpaceX launched its first ever astronaut in a Dragon capsule, which docked at the ISS on the 31st of May. And the same astronauts returned to Earth in the Endeavour Demo-2 capsule in August 2020. They conducted their 100th launch and celebrated the sixth use of their Falcon 9 booster in August 2020 as well. The crew. Dragon launched four people to ISS on its first fully operational mission in November 2020. This marked the first NASA-certified commercial human spacecraft system in history. Most recently, in May 2020, SpaceX blew its competitors out of the water for the NASA moon contract. Were there protests from their biggest competitor, Blue Origin? Sure. What did SpaceX do about it? They launched a rocket. It was the first launch of their Starship prototype for Moon and Mars. Now, planned for September of this year, SpaceX will launch its first all-private, all-civilian orbital mission. And by the end of this year, it will have sent Starship on its maiden voyage. By 2024, it will have sent cargo up to Mars along with 100 people to establish a civilization. SpaceX Headquarters with all the exciting things they have coming up, it's hardly a surprise that their facility, factory and offices included, spans 500,000 square feet. Located in Hawthorne, California, just outside Los Angeles, this space was once a manufacturing site for the 747 aircraft. Now, it's where SpaceX designs and builds 80% of their rockets. But you don't grasp the sheer scale of their operations until you step inside. The mission control room is something out of a movie, featuring all the software and computer networks necessary to communicate with the rockets and capsules they launch into space. Just across from Mission Control is the area where they conduct all their inspections. The space is climate controlled since different metals expand and contract at different temperatures. A consistent 68 degrees keeps them stable and allows them to perform the minutest precision measurements. In the precision control area, it cools down by a lot. The robots and tools here inspect parts down to the thousandth of an inch to make sure everything is working just like it should. The server room contains about 500 processors to compute fluid dynamics and carry out finite element analysis and it acts as a service storage for their solid 3D modeling. But things get really impressive when you step into the manufacturing facility. A giant conveyor belt of components for the rocket zip around the space, and these are all parts that have made it through inspections and precision controls we've seen before. Now they're here, just waiting to be put together by highly trained engineers. Unsurprisingly, SpaceX has one of the most incredible factories in the world. How impressive? Well, their facility can build you a Starship rocket in just 72 hours. This area also has a shake room and a stress test facility. The shake room simulated the enormous acoustic and vibrational loads that components experience when they are shot up into space. If they make it through the ordeal in this room, they make it to the next stage. But according to Musk, it's where most of their stuff ends up breaking. In the stress testing facility, the parts are put in different environments to check if they can perform in the most extreme situations. But it's not all about parts and components. Soft Software plays a huge role too, with software engineers carrying out daily tests of the system and running thousands of AI simulations to predict every possible outcome of a launch. As employees working in one of the greatest companies in the world, it's only fair that everybody gets to watch their rockets launch into space. For that reason, there is an entire section of the headquarters covered in glass to allow viewers front row seats to the show, Elon Musk's office. But where does the brains behind the entire operation sit? Unsurprisingly, Elon doesn't have a sprawling office with end-to-end -end carpets and a wall aquarium. That's too Bond villain-esque. 
Truth is, Elon barely has an office at all. Instead, he walks around the factory and interacts with his workers on a day-to-day -day basis. He'll sit and work on his laptop in a common area and often eats during his meetings too, since he barely gets any time to himself. Musk believes in transparency and openness in his workspace because doors limit communication. That is with the exception of their conference rooms, whose glass walls turn opaque when they are meeting with investors, clients, and customers. The upcoming Texas facility. Don't be too surprised, though, when Elon Musk packs up his entire facility. California imposes the highest personal income tax in the country on its wealthiest residents, and given how Elon Musk is now the richest man in the world, this definitely has an impact on him. He has already moved quite a chunk of his Tesla manufacturing operations to Texas, and SpaceX is soon to follow. He has already invested a great deal in the area, even donated millions to the local school district. The new Starship rocket is already being constructed in Boca Chica Village, Austin. It might be easier for him, too, since he is constantly commuting from Texas to California on his private Gulfstream G650 jet, along with taking frequent trips to his gigafactories in Germany and China. What do you think of the SpaceX headquarters? Will the one in Texas be equally as great? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and check out more on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.